G'day viewers and welcome back to Pop or Fix It. If it's your first time here, welcome. Hope you enjoy what you see and consider subscribing. Now, you probably noticed in the last few videos when I was replacing the clutch, the door trims weren't back on after I fitted the central locking. Uh, good reason for that. Yeah, let's have a look. So usually, this, this plastic film is held on by this butyl type um, adhesive. And as you can see there, I'm picking away at that, and that's, that's really dry. Nothing's sticking to that. So this time, I'm going to replace that. Stick around. And before we get into that, a couple of changes I've made. I've bought some wheels. They're 14 inch, same size that was on there. And, well, I reckon they look pretty cool. Um, pretty much bought them at scrap price. Um, which still hasn't tipped the price over $2,000 for the whole damn car. Uh, what I did have to do, though, was change the tyres over from my old rims onto these rims because the tyres that were on them were slightly higher and would have messed up the speedo and everything. Anyway, other thing I've done is to replace this thing here. Now, you're probably all sitting there going, what on earth is that? That is what's called a resistor block. Um, and what that does is it gives you the intermediate fan speeds. So, you know on a fan, a blower fan, there's like off, one, two, three, high. Now, if your resistor block is messed up, like this one is, uh, you'll only get high. So all these here won't do anything until you get too high and then it'll just blast you with air. That's usually the easiest, simplest way to diagnose that. If you're not getting anything on these three lower speeds, 10 to 1, your resistor block's had it. Now, the fun part about that is resistor block is up above that. <clears throat> you can't even see it from here, so you have to remove or dismount, not remove, the ECU to get to it. And then there's two screws one on either end and a plug disconnect the plug take two screws out drop it out put a new one in once you find one uh put it all back together that was like a five minute job i didn't even bother filming that because well it's so minor but there you know if your fan doesn't work on anything but high speed it's probably because of that Anyway, on with the show. As you can probably see, just on the top here, I've just put a couple of pieces of masking tape just to keep that in place somewhat. But to remove this rubbery goo, you're gonna need some sort of you know, narrow scraper. I'm gonna use a, a half inch chisel, see how I go. This is an old one, not a good one. So. We'll start with that, see how we go.
that's the bulk off. Yeah, there's still areas like up here. We've got a bit on it. But bulk is removed. Now you probably noticed a few times I slipped there, but if you hold it the right way, when you do slip, it'll just deflect off and it won't scratch anything. And I mean, obviously, do your best not to scratch anything, but yeah, I, I have left a couple of scratches behind. So oh, well, that's going to happen. All right, now you could probably just leave it like that. I'm actually going to go over it with some probably some uh, general purpose thinners and just clean the rest of that off because, well, although the new stuff probably will stick to that, don't know if I want to take the chance. So, I'm going to go and clean that off, most likely off camera, and then we'll get back into installing the new glue. Alright, well, here is the replacement seal. Uh, it's a methyl butyl, pretty sure. If not, it would have already flashed up on the screen. Uh, it's all the way from China uh, because I live in Warwick. Now, you can probably find this stuff in like body repair shop, panel building supply shops. Uh, but I have here a 10 meter roll, and you can see just by me touching it there, it, it's rather ductile and, and sticky. That's the way it's meant to be, not hard and difficult like that was. So basically all we're going to do is peel this off the roll and run around where it used to be and stick it down. As you're laying it, don't stretch it because you will break it and then it becomes pointless. Because the idea of this is to stick down this plastic as a dust and moisture barrier. Um, and if, if the sealant is broken, well it's not protecting anything. Fortunate here, um, by there's there's a groove. Yeah, you can probably see that. Let me bring it in a bit. There's a groove runs around the door, um, which is where this this stuff goes. Only one section is not is like right there. Well, I can manage. Oh, I know along the front. But if you don't have something like that. Probably a good idea to get a sharpie and make a mark where it goes before you clean it all off, obviously. That way, you know where it has to go back. Alright, continuing. pushing it down it'll it'll spread and stick and there you there you have it it's done well apart from putting the door trim on and everything else and doing the other side that's pretty much it so that's where this one's going to finish so i hope that helps someone if not well it's entertaining i think thanks for watching make sure you hit that like thumbs up 
uh, share this on any social media you like. Leave a comment, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one.